From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbreth. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. It is still a very smoky scene this morning in Yakima, especially on the west end of town. So it, it doesn't even really matter if you're in one of those sensitive groups or not. You have to sport the N95 mask as you're headed out the front door. And just for just for good measure, we'll show this again as we do have an air quality alert in place until further notice for Yakima County until 5 p.m. this evening for Benton County and until noon today for Umatilla and Morrow counties. OK, a little bit later today, the temperatures are going to be nice. Of course, the air quality may be not so nice, but the temperatures will be about 5 to 10 degrees below average for this time of the year. Most of us ending up in the 80s. Wind should be pretty light for most, although they could be variable and gusting upwards of 20 miles per hour for the Kittitas Valley. And then for tonight, we'll have northwesterly wind gusts in the Kittitas Valley, upwards of 20 miles per hour, elsewhere light winds, and we'll continue to have more hazy conditions and more brisk conditions too in the 50s for tonight into Saturday will be a little bit warmer closer to average and we'll keep things fairly seasonal throughout Wednesday but here we go again folks another another bout of heat maybe another bout of triple digit temperatures as we head into the end of next week. Also, we're tracking these little thunderstorm chances for Monday through Thursday. Tuesday right now looks like the most favorable day for thunderstorm development. Looks like the most favorable day for lightning over dry fuel. So in turn, it would be the most favorable day for fire starts. Of course, we'll keep very close tabs on that risk. Here's a seven day forecast for the Tri Cities. We do have that air quality advisory until 5 p.m. for this evening. Pretty seasonal through Wednesday, back up around 100 for Thursday. For Yakima, terrible air quality until further notice. Good temperatures, though, at least through Wednesday. And then we do have some thunderstorm chances for Monday and Tuesday. For Hermiston, we'll have highs around 90 through Wednesday, near 95 for Thursday, and then a decent dose of smoke or haze for the foreseeable future. Finally, for Walla Walla, we'll have hazy slash smoky conditions in the foothills for the next couple of days, at least 80s through Wednesday, mid 90s for Thursday and watching that thunderstorm chance specifically for Tuesday. 